Babe Ruth, one of the best players in baseball history, retired from the Major League on June 2, 1935, after 22 seasons, 10 World Series, and 714 home runs. Ruth was one of the first five players to be inducted into baseball's Hall of Fame the following year. Ruth was a larger-than-life character whose name came to be synonymous with the sport. The game was eclipsed by George Herman Ruth, who is still regarded as the pinnacle of baseball. He became one of the most well-known Americans to have ever lived thanks to his career, both on and off the field. In today's video, we will talk about life story of legend Babe Ruth and how he achieved the unthinkable. Before starting, we would like you to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. On February 6, 1895, George Herman Ruth was born in Baltimore to a low-income family. His parents immigrated to America as Germans. Six of his siblings, who were eight in total, passed away before him. He had a difficult upbringing because his parents ran a pub and had to put in long hours to support the family. In addition, the area was rough, with street fights being frequent. Although little is known about his child, Babe Ruth later claimed that his father passed away in 1918 after getting into a street brawl. His father was a heavy drinker. He attended the Roman Catholic Brothers St. Mary's Industrial School for Boys as a youngster, where he excelled in sports and learned to play baseball. George Jr. started playing and practicing baseball while still in school. Brother Matthias, a senior monk, served as his coach and mentor, and under his guidance, George Jr. quickly rose to prominence for his extraordinary baseball abilities. One of the few people in positions of power whom George Jr. looked up to and admired was Brother Matthias. Ruth was more disciplined as a result of his respect for Brother Matthias, and Ruth was always grateful for what Brother Matthias had done for him. Despite receiving an education, St. Mary's boys were also required to work and assist with school operations, especially once they became 12 years old. Ruth learned how to manufacture shirts and was a skilled carpenter. Even during his lucrative baseball career, he preferred to handle his own shirt collar adjustments rather than having them done by a tailor. Jack Dunn, owner of the Baltimore Orioles, visited George Jr. in February 1914 when he was 19 years old to examine this fresh prospect. After only an hour of seeing George Jr., he was so moved by his brilliance that he immediately signed him. Jack Dunn was appointed George Jr.'s guardian to fulfill the terms of the agreement. When George Jr. was presented to the veteran Baltimore players, he earned the nickname The Babe. They called him Jack's newest hottie, and he carried the moniker with him all through his professional life. Babe Ruth's reputation at this point in his career was more closely associated with his skill as a pitcher than a hitter. He reflected how naturally attracted to the game he was. As soon as I got out there, I felt a strange relationship with the pitcher's mound. It was as if I'd been born out there. Pitching just felt like the most natural thing in the world. Striking out batters was easy. Babe Ruth made his major league debut for the Boston Red Sox on July 11, 1914, after playing well enough for the Baltimore Orioles to catch their notice. He also participated in a rotation for the Providence Grays, a minor league team, at this time. Babe Ruth gained more prominence as a hitter in 1917, and he was given permission to advance up the batting order, which offered him more chances to show off his ability to hit home runs. His stats and play were excellent right away, and by 1918, he was a regular great player for the Boston Red Sox. He shared the record for 1918's most home runs, 11, and assisted the Red Sox in winning the championship. Babe Ruth had to take a minimal job in a steel factory up until November 1918 in order to escape being drafted during the First World War. New York Yankees Babe Ruth was sold to the New York Yankees on Christmas Day 1919 for a record-breaking $100,000. For both clubs, that deal was crucial. The Boston Red Sox would not win another World Series until 2004, despite their past significant success. The New York Yankees would quickly capture their first championship. Babe Ruth's talent was even more apparent at the Yankees, where he developed into the best hitter baseball had ever seen. He broke records for home runs and batting averages, becoming the face of baseball. For instance, he hit a record 54 home runs in his debut season with the Yankees, 1920, while the next player only hit 19. Babe Ruth broke the previous mark with a season-best batting average of 846 in 1921. Babe Ruth's popularity transformed the way that people thought about baseball. It prompted more players to aim to hit home runs rather than plod along for modest victories. 
As fan interest in the Yankees increased, they relocated to a new stadium in 1923. This stadium became known as the house that Ruth built. The New York Yankees were the most successful baseball club of all time under Babe Ruth's leadership. The Yankees won seven pennants and four World Series with Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth led the charge with a record 60 home runs for the 1927 New York Yankees club, which is regarded as one of the best baseball teams ever. Babe Ruth was in a unique position to negotiate for a greater compensation because of his fame and accomplishment. He was skilled at obtaining a higher wage since he was aware of his ability to generate cash. Babe Ruth was recognized for his outsized personality outside of baseball. Babe Ruth was well recognized for his ability to consume a lot of booze despite the Prohibition era. He was a notorious womanizer who frequently partied till the wee hours. His weight frequently fluctuated and his chaotic social life had an impact on his health. His physical condition had gotten worse by the middle of the 1930s and he could hardly run. In 1929, he married Helen Woodford and Clary Merritt Hodgson twice. They adopted daughters Juliet and Dorothy in both of their marriages. Babe Ruth, though, also engaged in a number of affairs. In addition to leading a promiscuous lifestyle, Babe Ruth also made time to visit nearby hospitals and nonprofit organizations. He was always willing to greet fans, sign autographs, and encourage kids. Despite the press's eagerness for anything Babe Ruth did, he attempted to avoid drawing any attention from them. He was also reputed to go to mass, even after staying out all night drinking. Additionally, he donated money to his previous school, and especially to Brother Matthias. Babe Ruth became the most successful athlete of his period in the 1920s, coming out of poverty and obscurity to represent the American ideal and the new era of the Roaring Twenties. His fame went far beyond the field of competition. Babe Ruth played baseball in a Ruthian manner, which has come to describe colossal, dramatic, enormous, spectacular, with great power. Babe Ruth dominated the record books when his career came to an end in 1935. He held 56 major league records, including the record for the most career home runs, 714, which was a significant number at the time. He failed to land a managerial position when his playing days were done. Many business owners believe Babe Ruth's personal habits would make management challenging because of his unwillingness to impose rules. Ruth was unsuccessful in landing a job as a baseball analyst as well. However, he made numerous personal appearances to support the war effort during the Second World War. His popularity and charisma still have the power to draw sizable crowds. This included one last playing performance in 1943 at Yankee Stadium. Babe Ruth was given the prognosis for a tumor on his neck in 1946, and on August 16, 1948, he passed away from cancer. More than 100,000 people walked by his body in Yankee Stadium or showed up for his funeral in New York's St. Patrick's Cathedral. In the 1948 campaign, the Yankees retired Babe Ruth's number three. The most recognizable and well-known player in baseball history, Babe Ruth was one of the first five players to be elected into the Hall of Fame. Ruth continues to be the most recognizable player of all time, and he increased the popularity of baseball.